<clears throat> Have a wonderful Sunday school, kiddos. Maybe someday soon we'll do children's messages again. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Okay, so uh, our, congr our offering for today is for Heritage Community Christian School, uh, which uh, reminds us not only, of course, of Heritage starting up again in a few weeks, but also <clears throat> the reality that uh, many other schools, of course, throughout this land will be starting up in a couple of weeks. And there are a lot still of uncertainties and a lot of uh, questioning and a lot of not knowing exactly what to expect. Uh, you know, there's, there's not only the readjustment again due to adjusting COVID protocols and so on, uh, but there is also the reality that we don't know whether we will be facing another wave of COVID and what that could look like and so on. So please very much be in prayer, not only for Heritage Community Christian School as they get going again and make their final plans before the fall, uh, but also please pray for all of our schools of all uh, levels, whether it be elementary, secondary, or post-secondary. Uh, pray for teachers, professors, um, educational assistants, volunteers, principals, boards, all that stuff. Uh, and pray, of course, for the families and the children. Uh, it is still, sadly, uncertain times. So please pray for that. Also, uh, pastorally, there are uh, a few things that we need to update you on or let you know about. Uh, one is that Pete Harmsma is in the hospital in Kingston. Um, things are not great. Um, unfortunately, uh, I haven't had a chance to talk with Hinka because I think she is in Kingston. Um, anyways, so please pray for uh, Pete and for Hinka uh, and for their whole family as well. Also wanted to let you know that uh, Mark, uh, Mark's sister, Mark Primo's sister, um, passed away rather suddenly. Uh, just last week, and uh, he had a, a pretty special relationship with her, uh, and so please be in prayer for Mark and for the family. Um, they are also um, in the process of moving at this time, Mark and uh, Bonnie and the kids, so uh, pray for them as they have uh, those things happening at the same time. Please also, of course, be in prayer for the people of Haiti who had uh, a terrible, terrible earthquake happen uh, just uh, this week and uh, hundreds have died um, there as well. And continue to be in prayer, of course, for, um, for those who are fighting fires throughout this land, um, including uh, Jessica, who's working in a support capacity there. She's doing okay? Okay. Good. I know she was working pretty long hours, uh, but uh, yeah, we are grateful for her and for all of those, whether on the front lines or in support positions, whatever role they may be playing. Let us come to God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you so very much again for this time to come together. We thank you so very much that we can have some children here. Uh, you know, it's been great to have a few uh, hanging around over the past number of weeks, but it is so wonderful to see even more of them here. Lord, we pray that uh, we will be able to be a welcoming and safe space for many people to come. We pray that not only for us, O oh God, but we pray that as well for the churches in our area, whether they be Christian Reformed churches in our classes or whether they be um, churches of other denominations in this village and beyond. Lord, we pray that, that all the churches may step up and may be places that are safe and welcoming and places that provide grace and truth and righteousness and mercy and holiness and love. Lord, we pray that you will guide us through all of the trials and tribulations of this world. 
Father, we pray for those among us who are struggling <clears throat> with illness. We thank you so much that Edith seems to be doing pretty well right now. And we pray that her, uh, her remaining treatments will also go well and that she will be soon as right as rain. We pray, too, uh, for Wilma. We thank you so much that her test results have come back uh, good, and we pray that you will continue to preserve her health as well. We pray for Henny as well in her health and Mark as they journey together and for their family as a whole. Oh, God, would you have mercy on them? We ask as well that right now you would be especially with Pete. Lord, we pray that you will help the doctors to help him, that you will be with all of those who are caring for him, and we pray that you will be with Hinka and with all of the kids and grandkids as well. Lord, would you please strengthen them all and comfort them all. Lord, we pray for your healing confident in the reality that you will heal. Lord, however you choose to heal, whether it is through medical professionals and medical science or whether it is through Pete's body's own processes or whether it is <clears throat> through miraculous intervention or whether the healing ultimately comes when you call him or any of us home, we pray that your will would be done and that we would receive from you what you would give and that we would <clears throat> hold our hands open for you to take what you would take. Father, we pray as well that you would be with Mark and Bonnie and the kids and their whole family. Comfort, especially Mark, and Lord, help them during this time, as they not only grieve, but as they also are in the process of moving. Lord, we pray for your arms around them. Father, we pray for the people of Haiti. We pray for those who mourn, we pray for those who don't have time to mourn right now because they are simply trying to get out of the rubble. Lord, we pray for the emergency workers. We pray for warring gangs that they may lay down their arms and provide safe passage for those who seek to help. Father, we pray. We pray for the wildfires in British Columbia and Ontario and Greece. Lord, we pray for all of those who are combating those flames. We pray for those who are grieving the loss of their homes or pets or things or even people, O oh God. Lord, we pray for your mercy in this world. Lord, we pray for this world as it faces in an ongoing manner the realities of COVID. We pray for those countries where, where infec infections continue to rise at an alarming rate. We pray for your mercy upon them. And Lord, we pray for schools in our province and throughout Canada and throughout the world as they look at returning to school in a couple of weeks. Lord, we pray that you would have mercy on Heritage Community Christian School. We thank you so much for your faithfulness and provision for them. Lord, we pray that their school year would be absolutely awesome and that it would be a wonderful and safe environment on all levels for kids and staff alike to grow in your truth. 
Lord, we pray that you will help parents and teachers who are struggling with the uncertainties of this time. Comfort them and strengthen them. Help them to roll with the punches with ne when necessary and help our leadership to provide the information required whenever they can. And Lord, please, as we come to your scriptures for the message this morning, guide us, open our hearts and minds that we may hear what you would have us hear. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.